Skadesh, wag one. Bless up, bless up all my viewers, all my subscribers out in the world. Hope you all doing well. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell if you haven't as yet. So we have coming up in the topic, Sir P exposed this man contracted to kill Popcorn. Female dancer hospitalized after altercation outside a St. Andrew club. Fans react after seeing Bunty and Beanie on one plane beside each other heading to the Dream Weekend Malta show. And also Gage respond to Sean Stam dissing him in a new song. Plus, we have a thing to talk about Vibes Cartel as well, so stay tuned. Yo, Reggae Media TV, Bada Dan, everything we bad, and we madder than everything we mad. Okay, so over the weekend, it's like many dancehall fans react to. This picture right here with Beanie and Bunty on one plane, you know, it's like the fans they must say is a joy if you see Beanie and Bunty right here, you know, legendary moment heading to the Dream Weekend Malta show in Europe, you see me? So it's like Beanie and Bunty, a long time rival, them do a lot for dance all now if you see the unification and all of that two artists on one plane ahead of to the show yeah man beanie and bunty big up on yourself people let me know if you know want to see a next collaboration with the two legend you know icons in a dance hall right here big up beanie and big up bunty you see me as the people them say it's a joy if you see both beanie and bunty they on one flight right here you know it's like the show went well as you can see right here a fan comment thanks for making dream weekend malta special one love every time big up bunty big up beanie Alright, so Vibes Cartel released the cover art of his upcoming project, Vibes Cartel True Religion EP. Yes people, the True Religion EP slated to drop later in this month, September 30th, so y'all can look out for it, a next project before the year end. Mm. But the woman who said them things about um, Vibes Cartel, the voice note. Later, you're, two, you're, you're, you're 10 years late. That coming like another, another little thing for us bring down the teacher. Because we can't tell you, you know, they did have it say, so, alright, even after 10 years or so, eh, Vibes Cartel still would be correct. But what the dog is still correct. That them not like, that's why them not too even want free. Cause them have it say, oh, this man is still powerful and influential. Which is true. But man must be a changed man by now. You think vibes cartel like a come around, come do no more foolishness. And them can't. So Sean Stam got this gauge in a song, Dead Dealer. Where my this alkaline skin in it also. But it's like gauge. Take that one here and decide that he might go respond in this new one right here called Tropical Breeze. Emma just some tropical breeze. Not a storm. We full of good like King Alarm. Bad by myself, no bad back a boss. Your friend them a gun thief. Not so from a listen out this song, you know what Gage I say. He must say him bad by himself, him not bad back a boss. So basically he must say Sean Storm, him just bad because him a link with Vibes Cartel. Him friend him a gun thief and you know say a lizard him a talk about right they say in the song. Gage, me not lie, him talk a bag of things in the song here. Yeah. So Sean Storm, I forgot to come with a next song in response to Gage Tropical Breeze, which is the this song we aim at Sean Storm right through. People, let me know what you think so far. Sean Storm this Gage, no Gage clap back. What you want see me for? You tell you the prison, you want get a funeral. You're not done a time for a murder crime, you witness, you want a pussy clad killer da. <laughs> so basically right the scene of the song, Gage get personal and say Sean Storm, him just a witness, you know. Him not there prison for no form of badness or anything like that. And Gage just say, where Sean Storm want to see him for, you know. It's like him say him no love man and in Sean Storm's song, he mention a line saying, the last time him clapped it, 
him can't find Gage. So it's like in this song Tropical Breeze where Gage go drop, the man say, I preserve the anamids man. And a loyal, you're loyal. <laughs> afraid, you're afraid. It's like Gage, I say. Sean Stam, no loyal to Vibes Cartel. It's like Gage, him deal with Sean Stam away in this one right here. So, people, if you don't listen to this song where Gage go drop, you know, it'll go around. Let me know what y'all think about this one, Tropical Breeze from Gage. You know, the atmosphere in dance hall right about now. Artists are this up, artists just the other day, skin this massacre. We don't see Masika reply yet. <laughs> Wagwan. Yes, people. Also, Silk Boss and Jashi. Little vibes Wagwan the other day. You know, Silk Boss this up Jashi in the last song, Last Nation. And it's like, no, we see Sean Stam straight from prison. I take it to multiple artists now. Gage respond. Me, we see Wagwan next. Okay, so a young female dancer who goes by the name of Spirit was stabbed outside St. Andrew Club and right now the family appeals for blood. So right here on the Jamaica Observer we see a young female dancer you know who is a member of the Royalty Divas Dance Squad was allegedly stabbed by another dancer minutes after leaving a party at O'Neill's place on Agley Park Road in St. Andrew on Monday morning. The 19 year old dancer whose real name is Geneva Spirit Sawyers Hails from Greenwich Farm in downtown Kingston. Her family is asking members of the public to donate blood because she will require a major surgical operation to save her life. Her mother-in-law, Claudine Grant, told Jamaica Observer how serious the situation is. You know, her exact words right here saying, them just run me out of the room at KPH and put a test tube in her chest. They up her chest so ear can get in her lungs because the lungs are collapsing. Dan Salat is RT boss, you know, we see him react to the situation. He's the one who employs the Royal Divas, made an appeal for peace to reign in Dan Sal. You know, he went alive. Also, Bamboo Girl, the dancer who accused of doing this, is like we see she went live speaking about the situation as well. Well, she peppers from Sabar, me defend myself. I never she forget it, but I she flare up and I hope everything alright. And RT big, RT boss stop believing that pay people for run with false news. Cause when you know so like girl no one blood, so no one phone a friend for them. About them, something they fear. Okay, so recently Sir P dropped a video exposing some things about a man who goes by the name of Bingy, as you can see right here. The video that published Bingy was one of Black Man's deadliest 87s, but his ego made all the dance turn against him. And Sir P also mentioned this name Bingy in a video drop 2020 yes people when he was speaking about how popcorn was supposed to be killed on Helsha Road it's like Sir P say you know Bingy was a part of that you know it's like Sir P detail how he planned to speak more in the last part of the video in put out as you can see right here a recent article from Yard Hype you know as the headline state, Sir P claims this man was contracted to kill the unruly artist. Yes, people, at the last part of the article, reports state that Tafari Bingi Beckham was 22 years at the time of death. He was shot and killed at about 9 p.m. on April 23, 2019. While Sir P did not give many details on how Bingy was moments away from killing the unruly artist, he promised more details soon. So it's like Sir P have this video connected to a next one. I don't know why I have upcoming in that video, but for now, it's like we see Sir P post this picture right here of Bingy in the thumbnail with the caption saying, this is the lethal clansman killer Bingy who was moments away from killing the unruly artist. He also dropped the unruly sign, you know, in it because it's like it, the video was basically about how Bingy was unruly and how they done them take him out. People, me now be telling you, say, me are the richest. I may have money I show down the place or whatever. But ask. Anybody 
were par with me locally or internationally. You can't go road with me and hungry. You can't go road with me and go home back broke. See, once I walk me go, me go make money. Yeah, I forget my alright. Ask anybody. If I even thousand thousand dollar each person I get. And them go road with me. Plus me now talk my security team. Them get paid different. My security detail get paid different. My people them go to me. Wefy broke fight, he fight per broke. Them get deal with different. Me I thought just my regular bridge in them. But go road with me. Me I go in with my pocket full of money. Where the fuck are you going with and I'm going to go to it? So you can't even get up and buy some breakfast. So you go out a road with foot of hype last night. And you go in your yard to your woman and your pitney and everybody. And you can't even buy breakfast. You can't even buy two tin of mackerel and pound of flour. No, I me really. I remember, I'm a selector. Selector money, Margaret. You don't have to believe me. Just ask anybody. I don't have to ask somebody. You know. Ask anybody who parried me from Jamaica to foreign. From long time to now. Me no run joke. You have to have compassion for people, my you. You have to have compassion for your team, my you. You can't expect Loyalty and realness and you deal with people like shit. The man them mean you fuck. The man them have a style. Or them want own 10 vehicles and lend you one. And then, when them go in them diva style, cause you not say what them want you say, or you not tell life with them, or you not Yo, give me a vehicle, park my vehicle. If I even have a bike, park my bike. You have to buy your tip friend them things in their name. If you say a gear bridge in a bike, switch over by paper in their name. If you say a gear bridge in a car, give it in their name. Why fuck you, I give people things to take back. Then I work kind of gear, you're not giving nobody nothing. You lend them. I lend and lend them. You have to give your friend them things in their name. That means that if you and them fall out, you can't take it back. Because you genuinely did give them. Fuck, you got to give man things, but yo, me shut up. I want to tell my dog, this is ride or die. Yo, you that thing now. See, you here. And then when you and them vex you, but yo, come part me things. I, I don't even want to say something when I'm in a fist of panic.